Hello everyone. So this is part two of the trigonometric identities, and here I'm going to teach you a very very simple concept that if you are being given any angle from zero degree to three sixty degrees, how can you identify whether the angle is going to be? I mean, the sine, the cosine, and the tangents are going to be going to be positive, negative, or whatever it may be, right? So simply you are supposed to identify the sine whether the angle is going to be. Uh, I mean the sine of angle is going to be positive, the cos of the angle or the tan of the angle depending upon where they are, right. So here what do we have is we have a coordinate system, right, and this line corresponds to 0 degree and then from 0 degree if you go in anti-clockwise direction, suppose this is the line, this angle is suppose theta 1 and you have to go along the anti-clockwise direction, this angle is an acute angle. And then if you come here, this is 90 degree, then if you go somewhere over here, then let me call this as theta 2 angle, this angle is an obtuse angle, we call this as a second quadrant. This is a second quadrant, this is the first quadrant, in first quadrant we have, we have the angle as 0 to 90 degrees. In second quadrant, we have the obtuse angle that is from 90 to 180 degrees. This is our third quadrant. And in third quadrant, we have the angle, like this is the angle in the anti-clockwise direction measured from here, that is th theta 3. This angle is more than 180, but it is less than 270 degree. And finally, we have this line, and here the angle, let me call this as theta 4. The angles are with respect to the positive x-axis. So from here, if you go, this angle theta 4 is from 270 to 360. It can be any value and we call this as fourth quadrant. Quadrant, right? One. Now, we have to understand in terms of a trick. You may call this as add sugar to the coffee or you may simply say all silver tea cups. Make sure that you write down all in first quadrant, in second quadrant silver, third quadrant tea and in fourth quadrant you write down cup. Now just focus on the first initials. This stands for cos theta, this stands for tan theta, this stands for sin theta and this stands for all. That means sin theta, cos theta, tan theta. Right. Now if any angle, let's say 45 degree. Now 45 degree is between 0 to 90 degree. Okay. So if you are supposed to find out sin 45, cos 45 or tan 45, answer is going to remain positive because it says all. So all are going to be positive in the first quadrant. But in the second quadrant, let me take an angle, say uh, 150 degree. So 150 degree is between 90 and 180 and only sin 150 is going to remain positive. Cos 150 and tan 150, if you will find out, you will get a negative answer. Okay. So in the third quadrant, let's take an angle, say for example, 200. So 200 is between 180 and 270 and only tan of 200 is going to remain positive. Sin 200 and cos 200 are going to be negative. You don't have to worry about how to find out that because in grade 9, 10, that is not of importance, but you should be at least able to understand what signs they will have, right? What is the sign, whether it is positive or the negative. Now in the fourth quadrant, let me take an angle is 300. So 300 is between 270 and 360. So your answer, cosine of 300, cos 300 is only going to be positive. Sine 300 and tan 300 are going to be negative. So this is how you need to remember, add sugar to the coffee or add or all silver teacups only over here. I'm simply going to write down once again. Here in the box, I'm going to mention that sine theta, tan theta and cos theta all are going to be positive whereas over here only sin theta value is going to be positive over here only tan theta value is going to be positive and over here cos theta is only going to be positive rest all are going to be negative so this is you need to remember that's it